Hi everyone, this week's Toy Hunt, I'm at Walmart and I'm really excited to find some of these new Crybaby Talent Series minifigures. I haven't been to Walmart in a while, but it looks like they have a case of these and here's the new characters. Okay, well some are new and some might be different paint versions. So there's Dottie and Jazzy. Oh, she looks really cute. There's Coney in like a blue chef outfit versus the, the white one in, in the first series. I really like Lala the mouse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yay, new, new crybaby stuff, which is awesome. I'm glad uh, Walmart is starting to get some new stuff in. And then here's a look at some of the bunny corn surprises. It says all new cottontails. So I'm not sure what series it is, but I love how they have the fuzzy little bunny tail poking out which these would just be perfect for, for spring. <laughs> I also have some Disney Squishums. That's a new series with Lotso there. And some Rainbow Corns, Mini Brands. The Little Zuru Pets. And then Disney Dorables. Oh, they have a Villains Pack. Oh, this is the, um, the Rivals Pack. I, I recently have a villains only pack from from Amazon, which is pretty cool. And then up top here, look at they have like a random LPS, which that's a kind of a cute set. It's like there, <laughs> so maybe there's a section. I'm gonna have to look and and try to find them. Looks like they just have Crystal Woods of Magic Mixies as well. But recently we saw the Magic is Party at Five Below, so that's another good place to to check for that. Have not found those at uh, Walmart yet. And there's some more real littles. That's a really cute little bunny one. Oh, so, so cute. Kind of regret not picking up those new Sanrio ones. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> they were $12.99 though. And then I wonder if they're going to do more micro crafts. I've, I haven't heard anything, um, but those were cute and popular, but I just see the, the first series, which is quite, been some, quite, quite some time. Let me just pet this doggy. <laughs> Very cute. They have the little Furbies, Furblets, and then they also have these little cuties from the Fur Real Babies. Walmart has the LOL OMG like nail salon dolls. So you get this whole little, little kit with little nail deco stickers and stuff. That's cool. I feel like I don't remember seeing these ones at Target, but they have three different dolls. And you get a variety of nails there. So interesting, interesting little concept. <laughs> and then down here they have these capsules. Oh, this is part of the All-Star series. Walmart always puts them out of their, their box. And then Rainbow High has some different outfit packs, which that's my first time seeing these. That's kind of cool. Look at this little rainbow pajama set. Okay, that's adorable. They don't necessarily need to match to any doll in particular, but that's that's cool. That's a pretty purple dress. And you got a pink dress. That's giving me like Wizard of Oz vibes, <laughs> the pink dress. And then you have a little cheerleading outfit. So uh, a good variety of switchable um, outfits for your Rainbow High dolls. That's kind of neat. Oh, they have um, some of the scare dice islands right for for monster high more of the lol mini sweets and mini bites oh yes and then they have some um older omg dolls but then also the nana -na surprise mini dolls from series two i've been hoping to pick up a few codes that i'm i'm interested in i oh i love those dolls so much and now with series three out you don't know how long series two will will stick around and then on the flip side, we have some Bum Bums plush. What is this, guy? Is he like a disco ball? Okay, that's kind of kind of weird. <laughs> they also have the Series 2 Disney squish a -lots. Some more LOL capsules. And then they do have the, like, Crystal Rainbow High Slime surprise stuff, which is pretty cool. Not only do the dolls look gorgeous, the pack art does. Oh, I still, I would still love to pick one up. They also have some of the Junior High dolls. That blue doll is very pretty. And then on this side, I'm moving along into like the Alpha Male plush. So is this series 
um, these plushies, because I haven't opened this series. Is it the Celestial series with the geometric shape ones? I can't really tell from the package. It actually just shows these two. Um, I'm wondering if I should should pick some up. I, I The Alf Mel plushies have also grown on me quite a bit. And Walmart has just a ton of fun plushies here. The new Living on the Veg um, squash series. I love that pumpkin. But they have a lot of cute shapes and facial expressions. More bum bums. And then they also have a nice selection of smaller or mid-size, medium-size squishmallows. Cute pastel colors. And then, oh my goodness. <gasps> What is this? So wait, wait, what? Pop Pop Soft has a new series. There's an octopus and sea turtle. So are they expanding the sea turtle and maybe just doing a sea themed? I'm all down for that. <laughs> oh, it doesn't show more. Okay, maybe I should scan that and, and take a look. That's adorable. Yes, yes. And an, a watermelon octopus. Okay. Okay, so it looks like they're scattered throughout. I'm gonna have to go through those. And see how many they have because um, that is just precious. I love the sea turtle series, which was again pretty pretty hard to find, at least in stores by me. So really glad that there is something new with the pop art soft or pop soft. Mm. <laughs> Let alone an octopus. My goodness, that is just like a perfect little beanbag plush right there. Perfect shape. <laughs> Okay, I'm really excited for those. And of course, these are $4.97 at Walmart, which is a great price for something that looks so, so cute. I'm like shouting. I like the dragon fruit, dragon boba thing. That's, that's adorable. Those are like really soft too. So a great selection of plushies here. Across from the Barbies is where this Walmart puts their Pixlings, and they do have the Walmart exclusive Flitta Pixlings. Um, at this Walmart. I wonder why they don't put these with Magic Mixies. And then they have this, and I, I can't, I'll zoom in on the shelf tag. It just said assorted Pixlings on rollback for $9. So I would definitely scan those. I think it might be the first wave. It's definitely not the Flitta exclusive though. And then in the Barbie section, I know they're releasing, I think the Mermaid Dreamtopia dolls. I don't know if this is one of them, but it has like a famous like sculpt design that is like an old school version that is making a comeback and it's sold out a lot of places and I've seen pictures. I don't think this one is either, but um, I'm definitely, it starts with an O, I, I forget what it is, but um, it's a cool sculpt that hasn't been around. And look at her expression, maybe she is one. It just, You'll, you'll notice when you see it because you don't see this face sculpt very often. So I'm very intrigued by those. They also have a nice selection of the Barbie Pop reveal and the Barbie Cutie reveal. I've also seen pictures of a new Cutie reveal set where it's like the little animals are dressed up as other animals, which looks adorable. So um, yeah, I, I haven't found those in stores, but maybe they're, they're coming out soon. But overall, a, a nice Barbie selection, and I'm definitely having my eye out for some. And a quick look down the action figure aisle. They have the Transformers the movie Ratchet figure. And then it looks like they have some Beast Wars characters in, like, small form. There's Air Razor, who looks really cool. I know they're probably from a series. I'm just calling them Beast Wars. And then Cheetor. But that looks awesome, too. So, a couple, couple new things for Transformers. On an end cap here, they have an adorable Squishmallow Pokemon section with Clefairy and Teddy Ursa, which both of them make such perfect, like, Squishmallow shapes. <laughs> Look at Gengar, too. Oh, I hope they do a Mimikyu one. Okay, Clefairy actually is, is very, very cute. <laughs> Here's a look down the Easter sort of spring section. They have some Squishmallows out. I love the little frog. They have this bird dressed as a bunny. They have this little cutie. And then look at this little fancy butterfly with embroidered flowers. So these are the $4.98 keychains. And then they have this pig with that beautiful pattern. I don't know, I love that pattern. They have a larger bird, they have a goat, another pig. So they're definitely getting all their spring stuff out. They have this jumbo like carrot cake cupcake, <laughs> an axolotl, oh, with bunny ears. Yes, I have seen pictures that there's going to be a purple Bigfoot with bunny ears. So yeah, we're, we're going to be on the hunt for that one. There's also a bunny. 
Okay, the axolotl is adorable though. It's a cute little like pastel rainbow tie dye one. And these are like the large jumbo, jumbo plush, but still very, very cute. I love it when they dress them up with the bunny ears. Look at that very authentic looking chicken right there. Wow. <laughs> That's a cool chicken plush. <laughs> That's awesome. So lots, lots of little cuties. Oh, I miss this guy. This is like a little pineapple boba of some sort. And then they also have this little, little cutie. Okay. And then there's some like Easter baskets. Okay. The cow's very cute. Oh, and some hug me's. It looks like all the, these hug me's are um, bunnies. Which those are fun. Nice, a nice, cute selection of squishmallows. And of course you can't have spring without peeps. So these, these are like jumbo peeps up top here. <laughs> Very cute. And then they have sort of a mid-size version. Okay, those are just yellow. And then look at, there's like a ninja, a ballerina. <laughs> this little cutie with the bow tie and carrot. Okay, that's adorable. She has like a little tutu. I do love the bow tie, that is too cute. And then they have like a punk rock band bunny peep set. <laughs> Look at the guy with the guitar. Oh, that's hilarious. And we have this guy, the lightning bolt and, and piercings. Oh, that's funny. So these are kind of a, a, a larger plush, but every, every peeps imaginable. <laughs> There's also little mini peeps that are scented as marshmallow and they smell really sweet. There's even this little rainbow chick, which is cute. The, the bunnies might translate better as plushies. Oh, that little guy has overalls. And then there's another little small version of the ballerina. And then down here, they have some mystery ones. So they have the smaller mystery capsules for $4.98. And then they have these larger ones, which that's a fun little gift basket, Easter basket idea. Very, very cute. And my goodness, so, so many <laughs> to choose from. Okay, I am back home from my toy hunt and the rest of the video is the haul portion. And I'm actually really glad I went to Walmart. I haven't been there for, for quite a few weeks and they did have some, some new and old merchandise that I was interested in. New ones being this awesome Star, ba Star Babies, <laughs> Cry Babies Star Series from the Talent Series. That's a lot to say, but some of them are like different colors. Like we've seen Coney, where is she? And now she's in like a different version, but some are new, including Lala, the cute little mouse. I've never opened her before in like a mystery figure. And you know, we've been through this before. I like characters and top hats. It's just adorable. And then they also had cute little Dottie as a doctor which is adorable. So those are the fir first ones I, I picked up. Um, here's a look again at the back. I was very tempted to get Jazzy. Oh, Bob, huh, they didn't have Bob there. Is he a bird? Oh, that's cool. I didn't I didn't see that one, but great to see another series because they are super cute. And you know, every now and then you just want to get a visible character, especially one that you don't have as a mystery one. And then I went back to this Walmart in particular because I remember seeing series two Na 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 Surprise mini dolls there. And there were a few that I, I wanted to pick up. They didn't have all the ones that I was hoping for, but I did pick up these two. I know with series three out, um, these are starting to kind of disappear. And what, what a cute set. These Na 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 mini dolls have just grown on me so much. And they're again, a great size for remint and just all around nice quality for $9.99. So very happy to, to pick those two up. And then the next items, oh my goodness, I was so excited for. I recently did like a Under the Sea versus Magic little theme set. And now look at what they have from Pop Art Soft or Pop Soft. Mm, I'm not gonna call it that probably, but maybe I should. Um, they have the sea turtles with octopus. What? Little octopus bean bags. So I, I wonder if it's a split series. Have we seen this turtle before? But I know the octopus are new and great to see the turtles again because they were kind of hard to find. So um, yeah, that's that's adorable. Can they make like a series of like little 50 octopus plush? Because I would go after all of them. I do love the sea turtles too though. And uh, it's just so cute. So I picked up like six, six, six of those. And if you like octopus as much as I do, I highly recommend a book. I saw it at Target recently, but I picked mine up from Barnes & Noble. There's a book, um, new contemporary fiction called Remarkably Bright Creatures by the author Shelby Van Pelt. And one character in it is an octopus and it is 
just so fascinating. You do learn more about them. And I already knew like they were extremely intelligent um, sea critters, but it just is very heartwarming. It has multiple perspectives, including um, a cleaning lady who works overnight at the aquarium and, and gets to know our, our octopus friend who, who keeps a journal. <laughs> it's, it's a good read. I'm actually not finished with it. Um, I hope it's not sad. But anyway, I do recommend it. <laughs> And that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful for your own shopping. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I do hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.